What's up, Mr. White? So, I'll wait for everybody to, like, come into this stream for a minute. But what we're doing is a game I grew up with at a very, very young age. So I'll stall for a few minutes, and when enough people are here, then I'll really get started. This won't be a super long stream, but you know what I'm saying. Just wanted to mess around for a little bit. I don't know where the fuck everybody is. But this game's a classic. What's up, Izzy? Alright, there's some people coming in now. So, I already said this. Like, two minutes ago. But Siphon Filter is like the first stealth game I ever played. Um, this game came out before Splinter Cell. And I don't... Hold on, let me just check. I don't know if it came out before or after Metal Gear Solid. Let me just look. So, Metal Gear Solid came first. This game and Metal Gear Solid came out at around the same time, but Metal Gear Solid was first. And if you read reviews on like game facts and stuff, you'll see people compare it to Siphon Filter and Resident Evil. This game is nothing like either of those. It's like advertised as a stealth game, but it's really like. It's more like a spy game. Like it's not. It's not really a stealth game. It plays nothing like Metal Gear Solid. It's nothing like it. This is just like the demo. I mean, I think you can tell it's not like Metal Gear. But like, I guess back in the day, like I don't know, like 15 years ago, like the big stealth people were like Solid Snake, you know, Sam Fisher, and then there was the character from this game, Gabe Logan. He's named after Gabe Newell. Because Gabe Newell's middle name is Logan. So that's something. But I believe they referenced this game in a recent Ghost Recon. I think. And I know they reference it in... What's the game called? Days Gone. The people who made the game Days Gone made this game. So... Maybe, okay, maybe it wasn't 15 years ago. Maybe it was more like... Like 20 years ago. <laughs> I think they also made Bubsy 3D. I'm just gonna start the game. We're just gonna play like a little bit of it. You can watch the opening cutscene. What's up, Hazel? What's up, May? I... The plot of this game is like terrorists drop like a big chemical bomb in DC... I have this whole first two hours, it's in my brain. The neurons mapped this into my brain. Let's just watch the cutscene. <laughs> you can't hear it with that message playing. Is it the same virus? Yes, enough to eliminate everyone within a hundred miles. Gabe Newell, what's his name? Gabe Logan. He looks like a turd, like he's like one polygon. These are from our contact inside Interpol. Jenkins team is already on search and defuse. You are the trigger. This shit's amazing. Anton Gerdu and Mara Aramov. Who's the other one? Babel Kredich. Roma's communication. Look at his face, yeah. When you eliminate him, you'll also have to destroy his calm uplink. You'll be dropped into the strike zone when the firefight begins. This is an American guy trying to like to do an accent. Take them out. It's not very good. Do the locals know what they're dealing with? No. No. And then the game just starts. This shit is iconic. This is one of the best first stages in any video game I've ever played. I don't know how to play it because I haven't played it in like since I was a fetus. So you know how I said it was a stealth game? Does this look like a stealth game? It's not a stealth game. 
I don't know why they call it that. You start off on the fucking street. The hazmat dudes are on your side. And there's fucking, like, dudes jumping over the wall right off the bat. I'm trying to remember how you aim down the sights, but that would that would be like this. So once you figure out how to do that, you're but you're fucking goaded. You to aim, you hold down. You can just you can press X, or it would be square on PlayStation, or you can like target them and. Hold on. So I'll just show you how this works. This guy can't hit me. Unless the danger meter is all the way red. So they can't shoot you unless it fills up. So you can just do this and they'll never hit you. <laughs> you can just dance right around it. But these guys are on your side, the hazmat guys. Let's see, it was filled up there for a second. So he could have hit me. He did not hit me. And a lot of things, pe something people used to say about this game is that Gabe runs around like he, his pants are filled with shit. The way he runs just doesn't really, like, make sense. Like, his ass doesn't really move. Like, it's only the bottom part of his legs. I don't know. So, it, it doesn't really look right. But you can, like, slide around like this. And, like, it's funny. So, this, this level's iconic. You can do this. When I was four years old, that made me fucking have a seizure. I thought it was so cool that you could just roll through the window. This, I'm talking, like, this is, like primordial memories for me this is one of the first games i ever played <laughs> so you go in here um and you get like a phone call this is why people compare it to metal gear but it's nothing like it i don't know what this yeah it's this Gabe, i'm getting interference you must be near their communications array gravage gravage so the lore behind the game is like you work for this thing called the agency and there's this guy called, like, Romer is the terrorist name, and he wants to, like, blow up DC with a nuclear missile or something. So it starts off when they're, like, invading it, and it devolves into, like, chemical weapons plots and shit like that. It's, like, really corny. <laughs> I don't think this should be a spoiler, but the agency's actually not good. And yeah, I don't, I don't. So the, you see Kravich? This is the first boss of the game. Watch this. I killed him. That was the first boss. He's dead. I skipped the boss. <laughs> if you, if you don't do that, then you'd have to fight him. And then these guys run in. You do one of these. You, you quick scope both of them. You quick scope this guy. Oh. You shoot this guy in the face. Hold on. Thanks. Um. So, so this is a lot harder to play on a PlayStation 1 controller, but with a 360 controller, it's really easy. Yeah, it lets you skip the whole boss. I'm not going to get super far on this because the more you play it, the worse it gets, I think. It gets like to be like, there's some levels that are straight up bullshit, but the first few levels are classic. Uh, maybe I'll beat it at some point. I don't know. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was supposed to do something in there. Sorry. Oh, wait. You can do this. Watch this. Oh, my God. Neuron activation. I think I was supposed to do something in here. Yeah, you have to do this. I've taken out Kravich and destroyed the comm equipment, but I don't see their uplink dish. I'll trace it. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I love this game, though. The siphon filter experience. One day, not a joke, one day that will be a video, but I don't know when. So, we'll see. How do you... Hold on. This is how you do. Okay. <laughs> What I like about this level is that it's like open, basically. Like you can do whatever you want in any order. I like that. Gabe, CBDC has an agent pinned down in a vacant building two blocks east of you. Can you help? And you don't even actually—you don't actually even have to help him. I don't think. 
but I will. They Resident Evil 4 has this. I mean, Half-Life has it, but you shoot the lock. It's the first game I can remember where you do that. I guess Half-Life probably came first, but... Obviously. I just said it was named after Gabe Newell. It was all, like, around the same time. Like, it was... The late 90s. It was real close together. Gabe, this must be where the subway security bypass switch is located. Find it and shut it off. Copy. See if you can find a copy of the subway system security protocols. The voice actor for this game is still round. And... I think this is the only game he did. Or maybe the only series he did. But somebody commissioned him recently to, like, say something. So here's, like, your weapon. Oh, I forgot the taser. I'll show you. So you have a flashlight. If people know one thing about siphon filter, it's the taser. I'll show you that. I don't remember the fucking buttons. Here we go. You bypassed the subway security. The ramp in the first terminal should be clear now. I guess they call this a stealth game because if you really wanted to, you could go around like this the entire time and like but who fucking who cares? Like that's not that's not it's not really that fun. It's not like built around it. Whoops. Hey there. Um Reef Fantasy. Yeah, it looked really good. At the game awards. Yeah. Reef Fantasy. I'm excited for that. Hold up. There's something going on up here. It's one of my own guys. This is this is the guy that we have to save. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's one. Uh. Whoops. We didn't save him. My bad. <laughs> I kind of like how he just fell on the street in front of me. Maybe we did save him. There's there's a few of them over there. Yeah, okay, we saved some of them. There's some other guys up above me. Sad dimension. Yeah, see? This is this is one of the best levels ever made in a video game. <laughs> I, I stand by it. I insist. Look at him. The dude missed. Every single shot he missed. He shot me like point blank. What the fuck's going on? I'm like stuck, okay. Ugh. The streets are eerily quiet. Never mind. Now the level they get like the game gets harder. So like you can't always just run around people like that, but for the first few, you can. Let me show you the taser. What's up, waifu lover? Let's watch watch this. For those of you who haven't seen this. Where's the guy? There's gonna be somebody up on the roof. Hold up. Wait. There was one. Okay. Hold up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come out. Come out. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Now you just you just hold the button down until he bursts into flames. And you can just you just hold the button forever. <laughs> you don't ever have to let it go. It's fucked up. This is fucked up. <laughs> you burned him to death with a taser. That's terrible. That's like, that's insane. But it's it's funny. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> like, uh, this game's off the fucking. I don't know. It's off its shit. What were they thinking? I'm pretty sure if you read the manual for this, I have this game like on my shelf. It says the taser's like 2 million volts or something. 
Like it's it's super super lethal. I'm gonna do it again. He's just like I'm like a, a mile away from him. <laughs> it's like a sniper rifle. Yeah, wait. Yeah, there you go. What's up, Nam's Compendium? I was like five years old doing this. That probably says a lot about me. <laughs> I would play this shit for hours. And my dad thought it was funny too. Yeah, and they give it gives you a special camera angle for it and everything. Yeah. So this is like the inside of the bank. There's like there's a bad guy right there. Should I turn this up a little bit? Dave, you were supposed to provide cover for that agent. What? What do you mean? Provide cover. What is the oh, hold on. Let me make this a little bit louder. Oh. Can you guys hear the game like at all? <laughs> I, I don't think there's any sound. There's like no sound. I gotta start over. It'll take like five seconds. Who cares? The game volume being super low isn't me. Like it's it's really quiet for some reason right now. I don't I don't know why it's that quiet. It didn't start off like that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'll turn up a little bit more. It's like dead quiet. It's really weird. <laughs> Maybe that's just what the game sounds like. I forget. I used to play it on a TV, obviously, so I don't know. Wait. Stand. Hold on. Thank you. We could do the funny part again. The follow alert sound is extremely loud, and I set it up like two years ago, and I don't remember how to turn it down. <laughs> Here, wait. Hold on. Let me, let me do this first. Okay. They die before they get, get like, I could stop right there, but you have to do the fire part. I don't know, you just have to. Let me, let me tab out of this for a second. Maybe they just don't, maybe they just don't put sound in this game. Whose idea, whose idea was it? For, oh, I know why it's so quiet. Yup. Whoops. I had the game's volume on one. That'll do it. Or maybe the game was actually just that quiet. No, Marshall, it wasn't. No, they did not release the game with no audio. Okay, now it's too loud. Jesus Christ. Hold on. I moved it from one to two. All of a sudden, it's like the fucking orchestra in my ear. Oh, now you'll get to hear it. Why is that speed limit sign so small? Is it for the car? This? Is there a speed limit sign? Did I miss it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's he's taller than it. What the fuck? It's like, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure something out. Hold like the flashlight. Can I say I, I want to get a view of the flashlight? I, I don't think I can. I was trying to figure out the scale. Like, maybe we're actually in, like, a little, like, a playset or something. Maybe Gabe's actually, like, a little action figure. It's not that loud for you. That's good. For me, it's, like, I'm in this game right now. There's, like, a whole, like, studio behind me playing the music in my ear. Okay, so apparently we have to protect this guy. All right. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna sweat for a second. Oh, wait. Almost fucked up because they just spawn in the room. They'll just like see. Where'd he come from? Whoops. This part gives me like anxiety. Hold your fire. You might say, oh, they spawned in here, but you want to see what's in here? Yeah, that's right. There's nothing in here. Except a flak jacket. Or grenades or something. Is this... No. Okay. The guys in hazmat suits are like some branch of the military that only exists in this game it's like some special like biohazard like thing it's made up but it, they're cool they're helping you get rid of like the biological threat while you go around and like tase people on the roofs hold on See, I'm gonna miss every shot if I do that, but you could just you could just do this. You can just do one of those. Oh, there's biological threats, believe me. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw this grenade up there. Where'd it go? Where'd it, where the fuck did it go? Okay. Hold on. Be patient with me, guys. Don't shoot me yet. I'm switching weapons. Don't. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Thank you. I think, I think they spawned forever. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> this is a very good PS1 game. Now I think, I think we can go down to the tunnels now. I think. My next video will be the, uh, the, the Toho game, yeah. I'm on my way. They should have let me voice act this guy. Alright, here's the stealth part. Watch this. Watch this. I got cut. Never mind. Alright, here's this. Alright. Alright. Hold on. Alright, here's the stealth part. Damn it. Okay. Alright, here we go. Doing some rolls and shit. Watch this. Here we go. Here. Oh. Here we go. This is like playing a stealth mission like in another game where you just you're going to get caught no matter what. But the whole game's like that. You can get hit by this train. That guy can try to shoot you with a shotgun and point blank and miss you. So I have to go like over there. But... I, I don't want to get hit by the train. Can they give me a second to fucking figure out where I am? Like, people. Look. Good. Thank you. This is definitely an emulator. The game doesn't look this good if you play it like on a PlayStation. Beacon set. 
Tell CBDC to get its guys down here. Copy. They're on their way. I don't remember it being like laggy or anything on real hardware, but I don't remember. That's the key word. I don't really remember. I think if you yeah. Like, you can't go that way. <laughs> I did not activate any kind of setting like that. Where the fuck is... Where am I supposed to go? What? There, there's something else I need to do. Just wait. It's not... Apparently not that way. Oh, wait, let me climb up. Thanks. I find it endlessly funny that they will like wait for you to do certain things before they shoot at you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is a big map. You have the whole town up there. You have the whole subway. No loading screens. This is a good, this is a good level. Yeah, I will be playing Giten in the future. I've played a little bit of it already. I sort of stopped playing it because it was a lot, but maybe I've gotten better since then at reading and stuff. It's like really, really text heavy. I, sp I had like an hour recorded and I hadn't actually started the game. What's going on down here? I located Romer. He's on the lower level arming it at a bomb. I'm moving. I'm not moving. Uh oh. Uh oh. Imagine if you were like one of his friends, maybe standing like over there somewhere, and like you just saw your other guy, like you just he just like combusts for no reason. <laughs> like that's impossible. What? It, what's down here? Don't I have to press this lever? No, that's the elevator switch. Why did he come down here? I guess this is the lower level. How the fuck am I supposed to know if the train's coming? Oh. Okay. What do I do? Eliminate Romer. No. Okay, that is, that's literally it. Okay. Why does he bend his legs like that when he- I don't know. He doesn't have like a- he has no ass. Like his whole body's just like legs and a torso. There's no ass. He's one like- he's like a piece of like beef jerky or something. Nah, hold on. He's like a piece of tofu. He's like a piece of tofu with like legs made out of like- you know what I'm trying to say. He, he, look, he looks weird. He's a weird looking guy. Uh oh, he has a flak jacket. Never mind. Here we go. What's happening? I'm setting a beacon. Wait. Leon, this one's different from the others. It has a shorter timer and it looks that's not viral. Too late. All right, game's over.
So that's the first stage. <laughs> In my opinion, that's the best stage. I actually already have a save on this, close to the end of the game. But, just keep going. I don't, I don't like this level that much. But I'll, we're, we're gonna play it. Subway's a decoy. The main bomb is somewhere else. Where's Romer? My video feeds are dead. Last visual had Romer moving towards level one. Girdu was moving through the main tunnel just beneath the street. The ramps down here have collapsed. I'll have to find another way up. One of the villains in this game is uh, a guy called like Anton Girdu. Like he's like French. I don't know. He's French or something. But but everybody calls him Girdu. But his name's Gerdo. I think he says his own name right. They don't say his name. Alright, so this this part coming up, like, shocked me as a child. Get ready. Get ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fucking run away. If that guy touches you, you burst into flames and die immediately. That's terrifying. <laughs> Dude screamed his head off. He's on fire. These guys still want to fight you for some reason, even though we're like in the destroyed tunnel. Here's where things get a little corny. Get ready. Tell them to stand by. I'll find some of Romer's stashed explosives and clear it from my side. So I gotta find where you do it first. But this whole stage is touchy. Like if you you can't go in the fire, so like but you have to go close to it. So sometimes you'll just like burst into flames and die. It's a little time. You gotta do some shit like this. This is where it gets this is where it gets crazy. Sometimes if you fall from too high up, you also just die. You gotta like lower yourself down. <laughs> it's like a one foot drop. Whoops. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. There's there's some bullshit on this level. Oh, I also played Turok as a kid. Did he throw it? Are we good? Okay, we're good. That guy throws grenades. Those will just kill you. Okay. We got to be real careful. There he is. Wait. Okay. He fell through the floor. Gotta jump like this. You gotta... You gotta jump like this. Wait. Wait. Through the fire and flames. <laughs> falls down the stairs and dies. They remastered Turok 3 recently. That's a story. When I was a kid, I had Turok Dinosaur Hunter and Turok 2 on N64. And I didn't know there was a Turok 3 because I didn't have the internet or anything. And I finally played Turok 3. Like, my grandpa bought me it. And I was so happy. And the cartridge for that game on the N64 was black. So it looked different than most cartridges. And I put it in. And in the opening cutscene to Turok 3. Turok dies. And it traumatized me for like two years. Like it, it, I'm not even joking. It genuinely traumatized me. I was so upset. And you play as like his daughter and his son. And I was so upset. 
so I don't even like Turok 3. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fuck with that game. It's probably a good game. I think there's like a code where Turok, you can play as him and like he comes back, but like it was too late. The damage had been done. I missed that phone call for like, I had like one second to answer that, whatever. There's something over here. I'm a little scared. You know what I fucking forgot to do? I think I forgot to do something. I think I forgot to do something. Let's check. Let's give it a look. Locate expl- I didn't do that. <laughs> I, I always do this. Every single time I played this level, I forget to do that. And why is that? Because I don't know where the fuck it is. So I gotta go around here and look for it. Maybe this would help. A little bit. I forget to do that every single time. Since I played it. Since I was like, five. I always forget it. So we probably have to go back down. So here we go. That is not where you want to do that. Man, really? There's no way to get back over there. They're not, you can't do that. Hold on. I don't fuck, I'll just start over. Okay, I did it, never mind. <laughs> no. I, I thought I was going to die there. Alright. Uh, lower yourself. Oh, okay. Is this going to kill me? I think it will. If I just drop straight down, I think that would kill me. You got to do it right here. Now we're good. Now we got to go back and look for the bombs. Oh, there they are. That should be all the C4 you need to blow up in that passage. Every single time I've ever played the game, I've done that. I always forget it. Now you're gonna go all the way back up. I'm at least gonna get to the first like big boss of the game. I wanna get to that, and that's good. It takes a minute. Yeah, he does waddle like he shat himself. There's a Siphon Filter 2. If you don't know anything about these games, there's a Siphon Filter 2. There's a Siphon Filter 3. And they all three look just like this game. Like, almost identical. So it's like, basically one long game. There's a Siphon Filter Omega Strain on the PS2 where you play as a custom character and do like random shit. I don't like that one. <laughs> There's a Siphon Filter Dark Mirror on PS2 that looks like more modern, I guess, and it's like dark and edgy. I love that game. And then there's Siphon Filter Logan's Shadow the last game that's the darkest and edgiest and it ends on a cliffhanger where Gabe Logan gets like shot and they never made another one so there you go um what the fuck do I do with this bomb how do you how do you use the bomb Wait. I seriously don't remember. You don't just like touch this? And you know what? That wouldn't make sense. That's the that's the nuclear missile. You I don't 
I don't think you want to blow that up. Yeah, I think you do it over here. Yeah. Now you have five seconds. Better turn around and run immediately. CBDC is on their way in. There you go. One guy comes waddling through the door. Jumps straight into the fire. All right, we did it. Yeah, they mentioned they mentioned this game in Days Gone. I think there might be one other siphon filter. No, that's it. I think that's it. I think I named all of them. I do have every single game. Gabe, Romo is in the main tunnel. You can't get to it from here. Okay. So where do I go? Oh, now I'm gonna. Now she'll tell me. Leon, the tunnel's blocked. The gas lines are ruptured. You have to find the gas main to close it. I gotta find the gas main. Do I look like I know where that is? I actually, I seriously don't know where it is. Uh, I have a guess. I have a little guess. It's not up there. The hazmat guy disappeared. Oh, wait. Let's check them out. Uh, it doesn't really help. It's that way. The way I'm looking already. Okay, well, okay. I mean, maybe it really is this way. Maybe you go up on this train. No, because there's fire in front of it. So, <laughs> the first level is, like, really, really good. And then after that, it's, like, a little bit, maybe less good to me. I don't f How the fuck am I supposed to know? Hey, it must be over here, right? No. And you can't go up the tunnel. Okay, let's just pull out the flashlight and look for the gas main. I think one day I'd make a Deadly Premonition video. But that's going to be like far in the future too. I'd like to do that though. He's back here. No way. No shot, right? No, there's, there's nothing back here. <laughs> There's nothing back there. Not every level is this, like, I don't know, cryptic. I think it's cryptic because you can't see anything. Is it? Oh. Uh, Marshall, Marshall. There it is. Leon, I found the gas main. I'm shutting it down. It's too dark down here. Okay, so I shut down the gas main. It worked, right? It did it. It did it. <clears throat> Maybe I still have to go back that way, but let me make sure there's nothing over here. Okay, now you can now you can go this way. I think you can still die on this part and get sent back to the beginning. Go. I'm getting a message from the 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 timing of that message was like Tell them as soon as I take out Romer, I'll be on my way. Like he picked up the phone and just got like blasted with the digital devil story music. <laughs> Why would they do that to him? Alright. I think this is the end of the level. Unless one guy comes out of the fire. Yeah, I told you. And then there's another one. I don't like that shit. Get away from me, you No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> Why was he still alive? 
I almost died. Fuck off. <laughs> I would have been so mad if I died there. I'm at the end of the level, I think. <laughs> What's up, toot? Hell yeah, this is a good game. I've spotted Mara Aramov in the tunnel. I'm going after her. There's Mara Aramov. Favorite character. Everybody's favorite. Uh, you don't know who she is at this point. Like, that means nothing. Unless you, unless you read the manual. So, she's bad, and you gotta, you gotta kill her. This is one of the best levels in the game, and technically you can beat it in like four seconds if you shoot her in the head, but I'm not going to do that. It's a, it's a short level, like no matter what, but the gimmick is like, the trains are coming, so you're switching back and forth, you shoot and beat it's, it's cool, it's cool shit. I'm going to get hit by a train. No! Oh, I thought it was on my side. My bad. I'm not really like... There it is. Okay. There she is. Wait. I'm gonna get hit by the train. No, it's on that side again. I can't tell if it's in front of me, behind me, or which side it's on. I know there's a pattern, but like... You can't tell just by playing it. Or, I guess, by not paying attention to the pattern. You can't tell what side it's on. There it goes. We'll be safe for a sec. Let me just do one of these. Okay, that was close. I think about this level anytime I get on, like, a train. There she is. You see her? You see her right there, don't you? You see her? Hold on. Don't... Don't run. Why are you running? She moved. We'll get her, we'll get her. Don't worry. There is a way you can beat this, like I said, like instantly, but it's not that fun. It just ends the level. Any niche PS1 games? I played a few on this channel. That one time I played that balloon game? That's a weird game. I don't know if that's like probably what you were looking for, though. Okay, it was called Kaze no Notum or something. Yeah, that's a weird game. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, I fucked up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, alright, alright, take two. Take two. Wait, 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 let's just see if we can do it, like, instantly. Watch. Nah, I missed her. There, I played Hell Knight on this stream. And for the most part, I didn't like it. But that's another kind of niche game. Uh, um, am I, am I going to do it again? Now we're good. Well, wait. I have my PS1 games next to me. Wait. Wait. There's Ace Combat. There's Armored Core. Like, those are, those are good. There's Siphon Filter. There's Croc. You should play Croc. Nah, that's crazy. Um. There's a lot of RPGs, obviously.
Did I play Chaos Break? No. I was thinking of doing a video on Hell Knight, but there's actually some good videos of that that already exist. So I probably won't. Not that I can't play a game that's been covered by somebody else, but I don't I don't know if I really have that much to say about it that hasn't been said. Now there's some other games that haven't been covered really. Like what's that game? I, I did it again. Wait. Mm, I was so close. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm not paying attention. I'm just talking. The game I was going to say was what's that shit called like Twilight Syndrome? That's the dang and Rompa one, but like the real game, the real game. I don't know what it's actually called. There, I just ended the stage. I beat the game. Where's Romer? Where are the other bombs? You're too late, Logan. We'll see. You're too late, Logan. We'll see. Immediate cut to black. There's there's actually a lot of PS1 horror games that I plan to cover way down the line that like no videos exist of. And I don't even remember their names really. This level right here filtered me as a kid. You're in Washington Park. You have to find four viral bombs. And here's why it filtered me as a kid. Leon, I'm on my way to the park. Well, wait, you'll see. This part's funny. I left her wounded and unconscious in the Fifth Avenue tunnel. But chances are she's already on the move. Watch this part, watch this part. Here comes. Ooh. Oh, why do you do that? Tell Jenkins the smaller viral bombs are hidden throughout the park. Gurdu has the main one. Logan, this is Benton. I have a mission redirect. Jenkins' team has been eliminated. I'm putting you on located recon. Benton, what's going on? The CBDC is getting slaughtered. We need you to track down the viral devices and provide covering fire while CBDC agents come in and disarm them. Copy that. I'll give them cover as long as I can. Leon, how much time to the main device detonates? Less than an hour. Okay, let's do it. It's funny that he doesn't react to like almost getting hit by a car whatsoever. If that was me, I would have at least said something under my, under my breath like, oh shit. So this level filtered me as a kid because it's on a time limit. And it's a maze. And I wasn't good at it. The whole thing's a maze. You have 20 minutes to do it. It's in the, it's dark, you're in the rain, but they can't see you, so you gotta find four bombs. I can probably beat it now, but when I was a kid, I could not beat it. I, just, I couldn't figure it out. It's like, if you just played the whole thing from the first person perspective, it's an SMT game. With a time limit. The bomb is in here, the first one. CBDC has the signal. They're on their way. Oh, I get it filtered. Yeah, that's funny. Here he comes. Are you good or bad? You're bad. All clear, Gabe. These guys carry the Colt 45. This is the best gun in the entire game. It's like a little statue. Uh, you can climb around on top of it. Uh, whoops. There's the bomb. CBDC has the signal. They're on their way. Stand by. Cover me. Cover me. Oh, oh, oh. Defuse that shit faster, buddy. Oh, hi there. We're 
we're good. Okay. What is Logan's persona? Um, like... I don't know. Like, let me think. Is there like a ninja or something that's like a demon? Rakshasa. That looks like a demon, kind of. Or it looks like a ninja, kind of. Let's just go with that. I like Rakshasa. Whoops. Okay. You got Armored Core 6. Yeah, it's really good. That's one of the best games I've played in a long time. If you look at the top where my armor is, you'll see that I got shot. That's the first time I got shot so far since I've started the game. It's been an hour. So, I don't know. And I just healed it with a flag jacket, so... Here's some videos tentatively that I'm going to do way down the line when I've like lost relevancy and I don't play SMT anymore. I'm going to do Quest 64. I want to do an Armored Core series that goes up to like Armored Core for answer. I want to do all of them. This shit will be take like 15 years to do. This is like my eternal plan. So Armored Core, Quest 64. I want to do Siphon Filter, this one. Rainbow Six on the N64. Shadowgate on the N64. A bunch of horror games that I don't even know yet. Probably more shit that I find out that I like games I'm not aware of yet. But those those are some games I want to cover. I want to do a Hotline Miami video. That'll be way down the line because it's too like popular. I just failed the mission because I killed the hostage. Um, what else? There's some other games I want to play. Do I have to start all the way over? No, we're good. Okay. There's a few other old games that I want to play. Okay, wait. I want to do a video that's like the Intellivision experience, and it's like 50 Intellivision games in one video. This might sound weird. You wouldn't tell it by the sound of my voice, but I grew up with an Intellivision. I used to spend summers at my grandparents' house, and like, they lived far away from me. I didn't know anybody down there, except my grandparents, so I played with them, or like, the game systems they had. And my grandpa had an N64, an Atari 7800, an Atari Jaguar, and a television. I think that was it. So I grew up with those. I played a lot of Intellivision and a lot of Atari 7800. It's weird, right? Like, but no, I'm not that old. <laughs> not old enough to have grown up with an Intellivision. Okay, so let me do this again. The first console I owned was a PS1, so I played stuff like this. Okay, I didn't own it. My, it was my dad's. And my dad also had the original Xbox. He doesn't play games. He didn't play games past me being like... Four years old. But when I was born, I have a couple memories of him playing games. He stopped after that. The first console that was given to me was an N64. The first console I bought with my own money, I think, was a Famiclone, like, where you can play NES and SNES on the same thing. It was, like, $50. I wasn't that old when I bought that either. Okay, so this is the part where there's a hostage situation. And you gotta, like, Turn on the matrix mode and fucking figure out the jet plane controls for the sniper rifle. How do you, how do you do this? Wait. <laughs> hold, hold on. Uh, there it is. 
Okay. Oh, it, it, it inverts the controls. Okay. I, I had a family that played games when I was a kid. I don't now. My dad doesn't play games anymore. My grandparents definitely don't play. Okay, so here we go. What happened when I died back there is, like, these soldiers are, like, captured, and he's about to, like, kill one of them. You just do that. Leon, tell CBDC command that I freed the hostages. I'm back on task. But this, the, like, I said this already, but this is one of the first games I ever played. Another of the first, I think the actual first PS1 game I ever played. was called, like, Spec Ops Ranger or something. Or Spec Ops, like, Delta Force. I don't know. It's the same series as Spec Ops The Line. But it sucks. Like, they're shovelware, like, PS1 shooters. But I still like it, because I, I grew up with it. <laughs> they're not good, though. I think that was the first game I ever played. If I made a video on this, it's going to be like... You'll be able to tell. It'll be like the ultimate passion project. Same with Rainbow Six. I played Rainbow Six on the N64. That was when my grandpa still like played video games. So you can play that game split screen. So I played like the whole thing with him often. Split screen. I have so many memories of that game. Weird specific little things. About each stage. What's hard to do. Just like random, random memories. It would be a really good video. The funny thing about Rainbow Six is that it's kind of like SMT in that. It was niche at first and it started with a book. And now it's like more popular and it doesn't really resemble anything like what it used to. With SMT, at least SMT is like kind of good, but I think I don't really like stuff like Rainbow Six Siege. So like it's a completely different kind of game than the original one. Which was like only single player or you know what I mean, like co-op single player. Yeah, the Rainbow Six book is really, really long. And it's not like a standalone book. It takes place in the middle of this, like, Tom Clancy megaverse that I definitely have not read. But I know it takes place in the same continuity as, like, a lot of his other books. Many of which are, like, famous movies, like Red October. Like Rainbow Six is a part of that same continuity. I don't, I don't think most people know that. Maybe I don't know. I missed one of the bombs. This is this is the experience as a kid. Whoops! I'm at the end of the level, and I'm pretty sure I missed a bomb. Now, actually, you don't know if you missed a bomb. I don't think you really know that. You have to get to the end first, and if you don't find it, then you gotta go back and look for it. See, I don't really know if I missed it or not. And I have like 10 minutes left. I think that's enough time for me to like get my shit straight. Give me that, give me that. They robbed me of that shot. I'm gonna say hey, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a guess here and say I missed one of the bombs. Yep. Now 
now the true level begins when you don't know where it is <laughs> and you have to go find it. Is Twitter down right now? I don't know. This shit was impossible for me to comprehend when I was five years old. Just like going around all these corners. Like I, did, I barely had spatial awareness at that age. I was like sniffing crayons and shit. That was at the age where somebody convinced me the purple glue stick tasted good and I licked it and it tasted like shit. So no, I couldn't figure this out when I was five years old. And I still have trouble with it. It's like everything looks the same. I know there's a map, but like that doesn't it doesn't show you where the bomb is, so You can see it on your mini map if you get close to it. I can't believe I didn't mention this, but I also want to do a Splinter Cell 1 video. This is where I'll start to lose people, because I don't think there's not much crossover with like SMT and shit like that. Like obscure Japanese games and then like, oh, I'm going to do a Tom Clancy game now, but I don't, I don't care. I need to do that. That game's nostalgic too. My bad. Leon, connection's complete. I'm tracking a mobile signal just north of you towards the Freedom Memorial in the Hedge Maze area. Check Romer's file and see who he's been using as trigger man. I'll bet these bombs are set with a backup mobile detonator. Got it. Jorge Marcos. I'm downloading his dossier into your comm device. Add him to my hit list. <laughs> Gabe has a hit list. I wish I could... Nah, I don't want to say that. Imagine being able to say you have a hit list and it's, like, legal. <laughs> like, I'm not a murderer. I'm just saying, like, that's something he can say and it's, like, part of his job. Yeah, add him to my hit list. That's fucked up. Bro is cold. Cold killer. And then he walks around with shit in his pants. Gabe Logan is the most corny... Of the three original stealth characters. Sam Fisher. I think he's like a realistic character. And then there's Snake who's like awesome. And then there's Gabe who says stuff like that. But he's also like really just like a corny guy. I wish Gabe lasted longer. Like I wish they made another. I wish they made another Siphon Filler. You know what I did? You know what I did? I got turned around and I went back to the fucking end of the myth. See? You see? <laughs> I fucked it up. What'll happen is I'll just have to restart it from the checkpoint and actually find where it is. I got turned around. I don't know. I was like going in circles. It's good that you see this. It's good that you see me messing it up like this because this is the experience of this game when you first play it, I think. This is like my childhood experience with it. So it's it's good that you're seeing me mess it up. This is where my time with the game ended as a kid, and I would only play these the first three levels like over and over and over again, but it was still fun. But I never got past this when I was younger. I have beaten the game since then. But back then, no. No shot. There's nobody left in the level because I killed everybody. So I'm just going back through it looking for the one bomb that I missed. <laughs> and I'm probably not going to find it with enough time. And I kind of went through it already, but this is like... It's like marketed as a, as a stealth game, but it's not really a stealth game. It's like a it's like a spy game. It's not really a stealth game. It's a good game too if you don't mess up like I just did. <laughs> but I like would it say if I go down here? Rescue the hostages. Eliminate Marcos. I don't know who the fuck Marcos is. I mean, I know who it is, but I don't know where he is.
Where's the last bomb? <laughs> I always I always do this every time I play it. It might be this way. But now I have four minutes to find it and then get all the way back there. And defuse it. So what I'm gonna do, keep checking to make sure I'm going the right way. It's over here. This is why you miss it. You have this whole map. It's foggy and raining, and you have to go through this, like, you can barely even see it if you're just kind of, like, over here, like, do-do-do, I'm defusing the bomb. You don't even see this. It's back here, I think. So, that's, that's why I always miss it. That's my excuse. Yeah, here it is. There's no time. But that's okay. You know what? We don't, we can't, we can't fight everybody. We can't fight them. There's no time. We gotta go, we gotta find the bomb. I missed. Nah. It's over here. The soundtrack for this game is really good, I'll say that. So this guy comes out of nowhere. No, oh, no, 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 get over here. <laughs> no, 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 no. If he dies, I will fucking shit my pants. What? <laughs> Why well, I didn't need to defuse it? Why well, didn't he do it faster? Okay. We'll start over. <laughs> of course, that's the longest one. Okay, we have more time. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Now I gotta fucking. Okay. 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 Now don't worry, because the next level is the one that I wanted to get to anyway. So yeah, I don't know, like nice weather. I don't have anything left to talk about because I'm backtracking, so. I'm trying to think if there's anything I have like planned coming, not really. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll try and stream some of those like horror games I was talking about. I've noticed it's hard to make like a a video of a game that I streamed because I have to download the whole VOD and like look through it. But when I do, when I do like my own video, I don't know, when I do my own recording, privately I guess, offline, I like label individual files and stuff so it's easier to keep track of what's going on so if i do a video of this game it, it's not going to be like i wouldn't pull from this vod i'd play it again and take a lot of notes while i'm playing it okay we're going the right way I think we'll be all right this time. Maybe, maybe I'll screw it up. <laughs> that that defusal takes a few minutes, unlike the other ones. It just has to be the long one. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay. I'm looking at my PS1 game. So I have a ton of PS1 games that I've actually never played. When I was, when I was really young, some like family friend gave us a big box of used PS1 games for free. 
So there's a lot of shit in there that I've never touched by habit. I actually have a copy of like Resident Evil on PS1. It's the director's cut version. I've never I've never played that disc. I've played that game before, but I've never played that disc of it. Since I've since I was a kid, I've never tried it. I don't know why. Part of me thinks it probably doesn't even work. It's probably scratched out. But a lot of that, a lot of like sports games that I don't really care about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose again. Here it comes. Because they come from every direction at one time. <laughs> Wait. Stop. Thank God. Thank fucking God. Let's take a break for a second. It's finally over. The timer's gone because I defused all the bombs. I do still have my... It's the same PS1 that I had all those years ago. I still have it. I think this is a new gun, right? I know I already have one. I just haven't used it yet. Whew. That shit was scary. No okay. gun. I'm trying to think. I don't really have any weird consoles anymore. Like the Intellivision that I played as a kid, it's gone. I never owned it. So I don't have any of that stuff anymore. I have an Intelligent flashback console that's like a plug and play with a bunch of Intelligent games on it. The best Intelligent game is called Utopia. That's my favorite one. It's like a city builder, but made in 1983. And it has, it has like two player. That's why I liked it. Fun game. I'm siphoning my filters right now. I guess I could talk about N64 games. There's a lot of N64 games I played back then that I don't have anymore. I still have most of them, but there's some that I... They weren't mine, so I don't have them. They got sold or something. All that stuff's gone. Like It's not in anybody's possession anymore that I know of. The way Utopia worked is like... On an Intellivision controller, there's nine buttons. It looks like a phone, kind of, or like a calculator. It's a keypad, so it's like one through nine. And then there's a disc on the controller that controls the cursor. So you move the cursor around, and each one, each of the nine buttons like corresponded to a building. So there were nine different buildings. The game.